Good morning. Uh, hello, my name is Diana. Welcome back to my channel. Don't mind me. I'm sorry if I keep looking away, but the reason is um, the subject I'm going to be talking about today is EUPD or Emotionally Unstable Personality Disorder. And because I got the information off um, Mind and the Priory, I've written it all down on my laptop. So I will be looking at my laptop to um, for this video. Today, as I say, I'm going to talk about EUPD or it is also known as Borderline Personality Disorder or BPD. And this disorder was brought to my attention by one of my closest friend's daughters who has recently been diagnosed with it um, through a special therapy session. Um, the symptoms for EUPD is impulsive, impulsivity, mood swings, an overwhelming fear of abandonment, extreme anxiety and irritability, anger, paranoia and being suspicious of other people, feeling empty, hopeless and worthless, suicidal thoughts, self-harm, having a pattern of unstable or shallow relationships, rapidly changing your opinions of other people, and finally, disassociation or feeling as though you have lost touch with reality. Like most mental health disorders, there is not one underlying reason why some people get certain mental health problems, such as BPD or EUPD. Both BP BPD and EUPD can be down to having a traumatic past but it can also be brought on by having a secure childhood without any clear traumas. Living with this condition can bring many complications if not treated. The first thing I would ask anyone to do is to make an appointment with their doctor so that they c they so that not only can they treat you correctly but will help you to understand what you are facing. What treatments are available for those suffering with EUPD? If you suffer with EUPD, you may be able to receive treatment in the form of group or individual psychotherapy. There are several types of ther therapy that have proved to be effective or have proved to be um, effective for EUPD, such as dialect behaviour therapy or DBT, uh, mentalisation based therapy which is MBT and schema therapy to name just three. However you may also receive treatment through medication but as I say your doctor will know the best treatment for you as an individual. Everybody's different. Never, never think you're the only person. You're not. You do have the right to receive information about existing treatment alternatives and to have the chance to participate in your treatment. It is important for you to feel motivated and trust your therapist. If there's no trust there, then the help is not there. You need to be able to trust the person you are speaking to. I would definitely go, as I said, firstly, to your doctor and get the advice and help from them first before doing anything by yourself. You can also suffer from ADHD or bipolar when you suffer from EUPD. This disorder, like many others, can get better as you start to understand yourself and your life starts to improve over time. I did, as I said at the beginning of this video, get this information off mind and also the Priory. As I have said, definitely recommend going to your doctor and get their professional advice and help first before doing anything else. I hope this has helped 
And if there is anyone out there that suffers from EUPD or there's a doctor out there that can help give advice for this condition or disorder, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please like, comment, sh share and subscribe and press the bell so that you can receive notifications of when I next post. And please treat others how you want to be treated. And until next time, bye.